Hello guys, welcome back to my channel once again. My name is Justice Zimando Aqua and this is Mr. J Graphics. You're welcome to the channel. If today be your first time, do me a favor and subscribe. Let's jump right into the video. Today I'm going to design um, another harvest envelope, all right? Harvest envelope design. You know, this is the channel that you will get to enjoy a very Music simple design for your project. So let's jump right into the video. Um, so I'm going to create my site. So I'll go to file new. So right from file, I'll go to print and I'm going to drag the arrow down. Uh, then I'm going to see this DL. So I'm going to use this one. Um, if you're also using Photoshop, you can use this DL. This DL is the, um, the size of an envelope. Okay, so I'm going to use the DL and I'll go, um, I'll switch this to portrait, um, I mean landscape, and I'll press great. So this is actually the size that uh, I'm going to use for this design, all right? Okay, so let's, um, let, let's jump right into the video. Um, first of all, what I'm going to do is I'm going to create, you know, I'm going to use a rectangle, you know, just click and hold. When you click and hold, you're going to see all the sub, um, all the sub tools here, the sheets. So I'm going to, I mean, draw a rectangle. A rectangle like this okay now what I'm going to do is um, I'm going to divide the page into four so you go to view from view to new guide so you just tap on this new guide so right from here I'm going to use the vertical so just type 50% on your keyboard then you press ok Music license. now let's go back to the view from view to guide and then from the guide you click on the horizontal and the horizontal to you press just type 50 percent and then you press ok so this is how it's going to be like right so that's very simple so you can see let's look at the picture right here 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 it's equal it's the same right let's squeeze this a little bit okay like that so I'm actually following the point you know the point whenever you are designing just trace concentrate on the point right here the dot you know Music that will make you um, it will make the measurement easier for you right okay so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to use the this code I'm going to use this code right here. Um, okay, so I'm going to use this color. Uh, and then this blue color right here. If you want to see the color code, so let me show you the color code. You press on this th thumbnail right here, double click on that. And you're going to see the code right here. So this is the code 020264. So this is the code. Or this color right here so I'm gonna copy that right click you know you can actually right click on the on on the code you right click and copy you know Photoshop is very amazing software so um, I'm gonna click on this thumbnail right here double click and I'm going to press ctrl V on my keyboard isn't this beautiful it's very beautiful so once I'm done this, what I'm going to do again is, um, you know, I'm going to, um, I'll go for another rectangle. So I'm going to draw, I'm going to use my ruler and then drop it right here. Okay, then I'm going to draw, I'll go for rectangle. I'm actually using a measurement, right? That is why I'm using many rulers. Okay, so once this is done, um, I'm going to copy, bring this. 
right here because I want here and here be the same side so I'll drag the arrow and then I'll put it so you can see from here this side and this side is the same right so if I mean if you're a very good designer uh, at, some, at times uh, you try to use um, even if the design is not attractive um, your arrangement your layout will tell people that you need you know what you are doing right so don't be confused when I'm using the rulers right here okay so what I'm going to do is I'll go for I'll go for another rectangle and I'm going to draw I'm going to draw from here to here and then I'm going to change the color so I'm going to use this color right here Art this gold right. color all right so what I'm going to do is um, I'm going to copy this let me show you let me show you the code okay let me show you the code so that um, you can also use for your design so this is the code all right So this is the code. Um, Music licensing reimagined. Let me choose. Um, let me choose. Okay. So you can see the code right here. So this is the code for this side, this color right here. That's the code. And let's check this one as well. Let's check this side. So I'll go back there. And um, I'll click on that. I'll click on my gradient. Um, and then let's click on the gradient. I'll click on this uh, arrow. And then you click on the color. So this is a code, also code right here. You get it? So I'm going to copy this right here and then paste this one. You get it. So this code and this code, this is the code for this color. And uh, this is the code, this is the color. The color here this is the code. And this same color here this is the code. So if you want to use the same color for your design, what you have to do is just go straight ahead. Let's say if you want to um you know if you want to use the same color this color to this um if you want to use this color for this shape right here what you have all what you need to do is just copy copy um copy the code and you click you select this shape and then you come and click on the thumbnail you just double click on the thumbnail and you paste Control V, paste it, right? And you can see that's the color right here. So you know you it can. It's very simple, right? Okay. So let's go back there. Um, I'm going to use this color. So I'll just right click. You know, in Photoshop we can easily copy um, effect. If you create any effect, you can copy that effect and add it to another design. You know so I'm going to right click here and then copy copy layers there so once I copy there once I copy then I'll come back to where I'm doing my design Music and I right click and then say paste layer style so you can see here and here has been pasted right now what i'm going to do is i'm going to change the position okay so let me show you the layer style so let me go when you click on this where the red linear you drag the arrow down you're going to see linear radial and all that so i'm going to turn it to reflected okay once you turn to reflected you see the difference now i want to 
I want this color to be at the edges of the color, I mean of the shape. So I'm going to reverse it. So just click, you know, see that? You see that? Um, right, but you know, this color, nah, I don't want to use this color. So let me go back and then let me remove this. So I'm going to use kind of a yellowish color, you know, so yeah, something like this would be okay for me, right? Okay, so something like this, you can see the code right here, mm -hmm. the code right here. So if you want to use the same color, you just go ahead and type the code. Now, what I'm going to do again here is look at this, 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 um, this, this side very well. Okay, um, what I'm about to do, look at that very, very well. Um, I'll go for my convert point to if you want to see this convert point you just click and hold you click and you hold and you're going to see convert point tool so you just choose that one and you come and highlight you know highlight oh. click and highlight i mean you know how to highlight if you want to highlight something you just click and drag highlight just one point right here okay when you highlight the point then you drag this point right here. No, it should be Music licensing right here, like that. Okay. So let's do the same thing to this side. Okay. So now. This is the help of the marquee tool, right? Uh, I mean the convert point tool. Now, what I'm about to do is I'll duplicate this. So just Artlist .io. hold control on your keyboard and press letter J. Okay. Now come back to this, this one, the um, the original one shape. Drag it down. So you see, this one will come behind this shape. So here we go. You drag it down. You drag it down okay it will be in front of this blue shape now what I'm about to do is just select that Music licensing. go for your move tool okay now if you go for your move tool you have selected this one okay go for your move tool right click and then Flip it to horizontal, I mean flip vertical. Okay, you can see the difference, right? So I turn to vertical. Now what am I what I'm going to do is just click the check. Now come back to select your convert point, your convert point to right. I like this. This one has been selected when you see the layer. Has been selected so you highlight it make sure you select it in the layer before you highlight it after you highlight it use your arrow key to push this a little bit right come to this side highlight it use your arrow key to drag it down like that okay so after doing that, after you do after after you finish this, you double click on the thumbnail right here. Then you change the color a little bit. You know, this and this shouldn't be the same because you can you can't see the difference, right? So you have to change a little bit color like that. This one should be a little change, you know. Because if all of them is the same color, you might not understand the design that you're doing. Okay? You will not understand the design. So if this and this are not the same, okay, so they are not the same now. So what you have to do 
is uh, what you have to do is you know just get it right there that's very simple you know okay so now what about uh, I'm going to write the name of the church so the Methodist church so let me Um, so I'm going to type the name of the church. The name of the church is uh, so let's type the Methodist. Uh oh, the Methodist Church, Ghana. Right. So the Methodist Church, Ghana. Right. So. After that, you position it right here. Follow the rule, okay? So you follow the dot, and you could see that it's in the same line, okay? So I'm going to. If you want to change, uh, if you want to change, if you type anything. Um, if you type any small letters and you want to change it to caps lock, um, you just select it, you click it, and you click on this T, uh, big T T right here. You click on that, and it'll turn to what you are looking for, right? Okay. So now um, I'm going to type. Calvary. That's the the society of the church, Calvary Society. Um, the place. Okay, so that's that is it. Calvary Society. And uh, let me increase this one a little bit, you know. Yeah, this is uh, a typography. You know, how you'll be able to arrange that. How you so I want to close the space. Watch here, you see this um, double AA right here, okay, with this double arrow, okay. I want to close the space in between this and this so watch here carefully watch carefully so i'm going to close this you know where you drag it either right either you drag it left or right you can see the difference all right so okay i think uh the space the space uh Okay, so I think the space right here is all okay for me. Okay, so now the space right here is okay for me. Now what I'm going to do is just duplicate this. Control J or better still you can hold your your letter alt key and you drag, you know. It's the same thing. I mean, that's the short, short way. Another short way for duplicate on Photoshop. So I'm going to type name. I'm going to type name. You know, try double dot 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 dot. I'm going to type amount. So amount uh, music licensing reimagined. Then uh you need to type double 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 double. So I'm gonna leave that double right here. So I'm gonna drop it down here. Alright. 
okay so now after doing this what i'm going to do is i'm going to bring the logo so the logo will be here the logo will be here right now what i'm uh what i'm going to do again is uh i'm going to write the full details so let's start now let me create uh i'm going to select the background and i'm going to create a uh, kind of you know background so um i'm going to select rectangle and i'm going to create background okay so I'll select from here Art list IO. and then right from there what I'm going to do is I'll click I'll click on that and I'm going to see you know if you want to see this just what I'm about to do is just select one you click you select the shape click again click on the line not in the middle okay if you if you click on the middle you will not see the properties that appears here so click on the line when you see the arrow you see if you can see that um, you know anytime you put the point together i mean the the mouse pointer on the line it tends to be an arrow okay it tends that to be an arrow so once it tends to be an arrow then you click just click on your mouse button okay so after clicking on your mouse button what you have to do is um select this you know select it after selecting it you bring it down you bring it down um, it cannot work. It can work because of the arrow. Because of the arrow. So let me sh shift the arrow and then drag this down. And then drag this down. And then drag this down. Okay, so after dragging this, and you see this arrow, drag this arrow down as well. And drag this arrow to down. So it's going to be like this. Okay. It's going to be like this. Now, after you've done this, after you, after I finish this, then um, you come to your layers, you select the shape, then you reduce this field right here okay reduce the opacity reduce the opacity to something like this i mean if you can see you know it has been reduced now after you reduce it press ctrl j then push this a little bit like this ctrl j ctrl j ctrl j so you push it, you keep pushing it like this. Okay. You keep pushing it, keep pushing it, you push it. You drag and you push it. So you can see I've created a background. Isn't that beautiful? <laughs> it's very beautiful. Now I'm going to group them. I'm going to group them so hold your control and then press g on your keyboard then you group them after grouping them just hold your control key and then press letter e to merge it so you merge all this into one all right now what i'm about to do is uh i'm going to i'll go for my marquee tool and I'm going to select this end. 
we should make any selection make sure you select the let me name it background background check 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 background check 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 background okay so once this is done just right click here and then press copy okay so now you can see the difference this one is you know because of how i designed it you can see it just um you can see it has double the line you know it just pass by over past the line so i don't want that so what i have to do is delete this one and then pick this one so you can see this one from here to here it has picked the same um the the exact size of the envelope so you go you get that and now once you get this just reduce the opacity a little bit you can see you reduce the opacity a little bit you can still see the design right there okay now let me lock it so i'm going to lock all of these the reason why i lock is that you know it will my distract you when you are doing a different thing you know so it's better you lock it as you are working on other stabs okay so now let's write the full details okay so now um the full details is annual harvest it's 2020 annual harvest so what i'm going to do is uh i'm going to let me change the color to white and now i'm going to type annual I'm going to type annual harvest so it's going to be annual 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 harvest okay so hey bro i haven't saved this work i haven't saved it listen whenever you are designing make sure you save it because anything can happen you know if you don't save it you might lose everything from the scratch so you have to go back and type everything again so please whenever you are designing make sure you save it blue envelope envelope design tutorial okay so once you save it you have no problem so i'm going to scale it yes expand it very well like that so after doing this i'm going to use this font you know i you can see this is a font name and this one too is a font name so i'm going to use this one this called this one is called afterglow all right so i'm going to use afterglow for this design you know i don't normally use um, a lot of fonts for a design but you know this particular one i decided to use you know if you can see this uh, i i used three fonts wow so um let me type this let me type the name after after glow mm you know after glow and this one is uh i think uh 
this one this font is also another font so let's check that out is avocalypse avocalypse yeah avocalypse 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 font so let's check that one to avocalypse font um avoca so that's also here avocalypse font So um, I'll come back to this, you know, in Photoshop, you can see this a big A right here. Uh, that is what? Glyphs. Okay. Glyphs. So I'll click on the glyphs and I'll come back to you will see so many different style of the font that you are using. Okay. So I just highlight this one because I just want to use a change for this one as well. Okay. Um, so, okay. So let's see what's going to happen. Okay. Let me select this. S. Yes. And then select this one. Wow. That's beautiful, right? Yeah. So let me select, you know, so in Photoshop, you can, you can, you always see this, this um, glyphs uh, is what glyphs or glyphs. Okay. You can see it. And once you come there, you can see the different types of the fonts that you are using. I mean, different design of this fonts that you are using. I'm going to um i'm going to make a deep details about that a deep tutorials and show you how it's been doing it's been it can be used all right so don't be panic i'm going to show you now i'm going to change this this um the age i will change the font into uh after glow right so i'm going to use after glow After glow font and then use this H. Isn't that beautiful? It is beautiful. So you can see the designs right here. What did I say? I told you that um, the font that you are using, you can see so many designs. Okay, now what I'm about to do is, is this, this is beautiful, right? <laughs> so um, I'm going to show you, um, so I'm going to pick this color, you know, the code of this color is here and this the code of this color too is here. So if you want to use for your design, is your, I've, made some, I've made it very simple for you. Okay, so this is very simple, right? Okay, now let me copy this design uh, let me copy you can you can copy the, the 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 effect that you created so come back here don't be confused right all right i'll just paste this right here. so after doing this what i'm going to do is um okay i forgot something all right i need to add some background so what i'm going to do is i'm going to add this background right here to the image okay i'm going to leave the link in the description below so that um, you can check that out for your design okay so i'm going to right click right click on this the, sh the background and create clipping mask so it go inside this blue shape now what i'm going to do is i'm going to 
you know i'm going to cut some place so what i'm going to do is i'll go for my marquee tool and i'm going to draw use the marquee to draw select this area then right click copy so you can see now i'm going to delete this and then create a clipping mask okay so once i'm done i'm going to change the blending mode select this uh click on this arrow right here and then change this to soft light is that okay um i think soft light is okay now i'm going to duplicate the opacity a little bit like that so this is how it's going to be like you know hmm, that's beautiful okay so now once i'm done with this um then i'll go i'll write i'll duplicate i'm going to type 2020 so uh 2020 so 2022 so i'm going to watch this very well carefully so i'm going to let me change the font to montserrat okay so montserrat font now let me duplicate it here and write to two okay so now what i'm going to do is uh i'm going to create shadow so just click on the shadow and then place it on top of these on the two right here okay so let me increase the opacity of the the shadow a little bit i think the size is too big right so mm. and um, i think the spacing to is uh Okay, so isn't this beautiful? Is this beautiful, man? Mm. Isn't this beautiful? It is. So, um, right. So this is what 2020, uh, 2022 annual harvest. So it's um, annual harvest and Thanksgiving what? Thanksgiving service. Annual harvest and Thanksgiving service. So. Let me type that. Thanksgiving service. I'm going to duplicate this and then type Thanksgiving. Thans, Thanksgiving. Thanksgiving. Giving service. Right? Okay, so Thanksgiving, that will be here. Thanksgiving. Now I'm going to draw a shape right here. So I'm going to draw a shape right there. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to use, I'm going to create gradient. I'm going to create a gradient. So I'm going to copy this gradient right here. 
copy and then paste so I'm going to use this gradient and I'm going to type service inside of this so I'm going to be service right so service will be here now I'm going to change this uh, the font style because it's too big for me so I'm going to change that okay now I'm going to change the font I um, mean the color to the blue or black which one let's go with black okay now I'm going to make a little spread I want to spread the font if I if you want to do that just select your character and then use this VA sign right here Music licensing. you know you click you just spread it where you you click and you drag the point the the keza i mean sorry uh the arrow either left or right okay either left or right so that's how it's going to be out for you let me change that the color to red too and see how it's going to be like do you prefer red or black yeah i think red is okay let me let me sh let me see um let me dr drop your comment um leave a comment should we make it black or red leave the comment leave that in the comment section right <laughs> okay so now after this what i'm going to do is i'm going to type uh um the I'm going to type the details i mean th the theme for the program theme for the harvest so i'm going to duplicate the shape and bring it right here okay um bring it right here and i'm going to stretch it so this end okay so this is where i'm going to type in uh i'm going to type my my team All right so after this what i'm going to do is um, let's push this a little bit up mm -hmm. so that's okay now what i'm about to do is um write the team the team so let's go for the team so this is the team the team is this this is the team so i just drag it and drop it right here music licensing reimagine so this is the team now I'm going to type the team in front uh, up here, right? Team. So just write the team right here. Then I'm going to change uh, the font to this. I'm going to leave it right here. So this is the team and uh, I'm going to going to draw a line so let me use this whoa should be here right So the team will be here and I'm going to draw I'm going to draw a shape. I mean let me draw a rectangle. So I'm going to use uh, 
drawing shape, change the color to you. Then I'm going to draw a very nice shape right there. Very nice shape right here. Now I'm going to right click and rasterize it. Okay, because if I don't rasterize it, what I'm if I if I cut any part, it will not work. So I'll go for my rectangular tool. I mean rectangular marquee tool and select any portion and then press Ctrl X on my keyboard. Then I cut it. Now I'm going to I'll go for my Eclipse tool. I'm going to draw circle right here. I'll duplicate Ctrl J and I'll drag the rest right here like that. So this is how it's going to be like, right? Now, after these, what I'm going to do is um, let me lock this. Let me push this a little bit because it seems uh, it's too much down. Okay, so now what I'm about to do is uh, just drag these details right here. Mm, no, the details that I'm looking for is not right here. So, oh, okay, I forgot the scriptures. So I'm gonna bring in the scriptures. So let me drag this down right here. Then add the scriptures. So this is the scripture. Let me change the color to red. Then let me change the name of the font to. Okay, so that's okay. Now, what I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to write the dates. So let's go for the dates. Write the date. So the date is what? Um, for uh, for December. Music licensing reimagined. For December. Twenty twenty two, right? So I'm going to um for December twenty twenty two. So what I'm about what I'm what I'm going to do is uh I'm going to change this. Uh, this this should be bold. And now I'm going to change this to extra bold, right? Music licensing reimagined. So this one will be right here. Now I'm gonna uh, we need to bring in the the details. Uh, I mean uh, So 
let me type the the venue that's a uh, Calvary Calvary Methodist Calvary Methodist Church Calvary Methodist Church, right? So I'm going to close the space right there. So just uh music licensing reimagined. So, um, music licensing, we imagine. Right. So, I'm going to leave that right here. It should come a little bit down like that. Okay, so now what I'm going to do again is um, I'm going to I'm going to draw this. Music licensing reimagined. I'm going to draw a ship right here. Okay, so what I'm going to do is um, I'm going to type these details right here. That is uh, first first service. Music licensing, first service. Uh, first service is what? Seven o'clock. Seven o'clock a.m. to nine o'clock a.m. Right. That's the first service. So I'm going to. I'm going to close the gap in there. Music 
so this is the first service Le let's go for the second service right so i'm going to draw a line in here like this okay so this will be second second service and then second service go with nine nine o'clock a.m to one twelve to twelve o'clock p.m Okay, so now I'm going to type in the RSVP. RSVP. So I'm going to create a shape right here. And, uh, So I'm going to copy this gradient and give it to this one like that and I'm going to write RSVP on top RSVP on top of it very nicely Okay, so let's go with what very reverend. So the name of the superintendent, very reverend. Call a year adult. So this is the superintendent minister. So so intendant minister. Right. So I'm going to do the size. Drop it here like that. Change it to something like this. Music licensing. This is a little bit far, so let me bring it from. Then let me type another name that is uh, just one. This is uh, brother Chris Christopher. Christopher Dakwa. Okay, so. Um, it's also called what? Harvest. Harvest Committee. Share my. Okay, so that's that's it. That is that is it. Right, so let me let me draw a kind of ship between here.
music licensing reimagined. Very good. Okay, guys. Uh, think uh, this is going to be the end of this tutorial. You know, whatever that you don't understand, kindly do me a favor and leave the description below, and I'm going to draw attention to that. All right. So, um, okay. I think is one. This one. I need to add this one right here and see. Should this thing be here or is it supposed to be here? Let me hear a comment in the description as well. So this is going to be the end of this tutorial. Listen, whatever bothers your mind, leave that in the comment section and I'm going to turn to that. Whatever I use, I do it right here. I'm going to leave the link in the description below. My name is Justice and I'm going to see you in the next tutorials. God bless you and don't forget, never give up. Bye-bye.